remember all this? Our next act does because it's his life. Prepare for an 80s reload with Brother Beyond's leading man, Nathan Moore. This excites me. My sister was a massive fan of you in particular. You like Matt Goss really, didn't you? I was a massive Ross fan. Oh, I was such a letdown. I was joking, but you. No, no, I was. I went into the loft, fished out the uh, socks with my uh, face on. It's quite funny because that does not look like you, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't actually, it? does it? <laughs> For Brother Beyond, it ended kind of really abruptly. And honestly, I can honestly tell you, it's, it's a really tough time because you do not know what to do. And I kind of just ambled around for quite a few years. I felt like giving up, but I realised I really missed it. I knew that I just couldn't put that aside again. I had to go back to singing and stick to that. When I was asked to front Brother Beyond in the late 80s, I know they asked me because it was my looks. I want those coaches to say, yes, your voice is fantastic. Oh, that would be incredible. I would so love that. more. Uh, about 26 years ago, I had a hit with a band called Brother Beyond. The song was called The Harder I Try. I mean, it kind of went to number two, but I like the challenge of coming here. It wasn't quite to be, but, you know, hopefully you thought I delivered something. Mm -hmm. Brother Beyond, man. Right. You were on the locker... My, um, you're in my locker door. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, you were a good-looking guy, but you get better with age. No way, man. You're too young. No way, because you know. I'm 36. Really? OK. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back at you, bro. You're looking, looking good, too. Looking good, too. You know? Thank you. Can I, can I, can I ask you are, you, are you still singing professionally? Yeah, I am, actually. Uh, oh, well, that's... No, I get to do a lot of, uh, you know, kind of 80s shows, 80s events. I'm glad that you are still professional because you sound like you know what you're doing and so I'm, I'm really pleased that you make a living out of it and and you should be a professional singer thank you Tom um, Tom I just want to say that uh, I queued up with uh, my dad he's 74 and he loves you mate what 74 same age as me no way get out of it yeah yeah really I don't think I can say much I think you're you know you know what you're doing and even though you've been on stage and you do all of that, you, you still came on today and you, and you challenged yourself, and I have to give you respect for that, so... Yeah. Thank you. I think, um... You're right, it was, it was quite scary to sort yeah, of... Yeah, it must have been. Once you get that taste of experiencing what it's like to be on stage and people kind of clapping and singing your songs, you just want to feel like that all the time. In the world of Will, like, with his metaphors, like, if you eat a really good burger, and, like, it's got, like, five burger buns in it, and it's really sloppy and cheesy and lovely, you know, you wouldn't want to take the burger with one bun in it. How'd I do? <laughs> Finish it off for me. So, if, you, if you're messing with buns... Yeah. You want to... Buns. <laughs> I, 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 can't fix the, I can't fix metaphors. <laughs> 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 but thank you for coming and, and singing.
really nice to meet you. Thank you. That was a really good time. He was a great singer. I, I, I should have hit it. Tom, don't regret that because you didn't. If you were supposed to hit it, you would have hit it. You would have hit yeah. it. The longer the blind auditions go on, the more careful we become because we're filling up our teams now. The less amount of singers you got left to get, the harder it becomes.